Sunday morning, uh, another early start to the day. Uh, we are, well, we, there's only one of me. So I'm heading over to Dave's to um, tinker with the new electric scooter we've got, the E300. It's basically a custom build and we're keep referring to we when it's just me. But So I'm turning it into a um, sort of a hybrid uh, Xiaomi M365 running gear. So I've added the 36 volt uh, brushless motor to the front from the Xiaomi M365. Uh, so it should be a lot quieter for one, a lot quicker and hopefully a lot better on the range. So what we need to do today is make the front forks narrower. The old wheel on the uh, E300 is very wide where the new one um, is a lot smaller so we're going to try and bring the forks in. I'm hoping Dave's got some kind of like cool idea what to do with those. I'm sure he has because he's a very clever man. We're then going to um, sort out the back so what I've done is uh, added this brake to the back so this means we have to try and weld the uh, rear caliper onto the frame uh, which actually looks like it should be quite straightforward uh, but Dave might have a couple of different ideas of what I have which is fine these are the one with all the brain cells so we'll see how we get on so here we are remember to do this so we'll try first and then we'll just remember to have the weld yeah we're back yeah remember how to do it yeah mate we're in business we're in business <laughs> we haven't got a weld right i'll show oh, you a cup of tea got a weld yeah sure first we've got a weld a cup of tea yeah you can't stop anything about I'll a cup of tea i'll kill it boiling do you reckon that's the best place for it yeah but if you put it there it's nowhere near the disc well, I think when I was over it the other day, it was. I think I had it, so it was. Yeah, that's why I thought we might have to go up that way. Because that off there. And if it's sorry, if it's an issue, this doesn't have to be on there anymore. This bracket. What about the mug mug off? No, well, no, because of the way the new one's going to go, it's just going to be like this anyway. Oh, okay. So, so you'd rather that off? If it's. In the way, get rid of it. If it's obviously, if we could use it for something, then obviously keep it there. As you say, it's in the way. What we could do is we could cut it off there, yeah. because that's the only place it's held on, mm. and then that would give us a good position to mount the colour for horizontally like that, Yeah. and that would then pull that way down that tube. So what would you uh, attach the calibre to once we cut that Well, off? we can make brackets for this, we don't have to use this, but we might be able to use that and utilise that to... So you've got, you've got these two fixings. And you've got those two fixings for the caliper. Yeah. And you've got your little slide there, which is quite nice to have a little bit of adjustment. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So it might be that we mount, make some brackets to mount this. Yeah? Yeah. Tighten these up on there. And then work out and then mount the, this to this area here. Make a new plate or something to hold yeah. that. That'd be a nice place to do it. Yeah. And then you've got a bit of metal to you. <laughs> I'm thinking that, yeah. And then that way we won't have to cut that. You still have your slide and your adjustment on your chain? Yeah. No, it's not got a chain. Well, of course it hasn't, it's rubbing no. the front. Yeah, that's what I mean. So that's you, fine. You, so you that can just stay there, so that can just that, yeah. so we can so we can mount it. Yeah. Is this the original back wheel off this bike? Yeah. Right, so we take that wheel out and then lose that bracket. Yeah. And then we can sit the caliper over there. Like that. And then work out where we're gonna make the new bracket to take this this plate. Yeah. And then we've got that, and the new plate, and yeah. in the right position. Cool, we've got that. And the back. Grinder. That was easy. Go on. My contribution. Right, that way? Yeah. And then... Blue. It's what? It was blue. It was blue. Horrible. Did you find it black? Yeah. Ah. Oh. on the top. That's so right. We can use that in there and mount that on there. Go on. Right. So that's gonna sit there. Yeah. We'll drill a hole through this plate so that that screw can drop through it. Yeah. And down to the flat aluminium bracket, and we'll do the same with the front one so they both sit through it. Yeah. 
And then once they're through there, we can take the caliper off that mounting bracket and fix, work out where the other two screws need to go to fix the bracket to this plate, and then that plate gets welded in there. Okay. And I think that's a better way for the cable to go as well. Yeah, because it runs it. down there and it'll run on that bottom tube. Before what you could even do, Russ, if you can get it in and out, you could drill a hole at an angle, a hole at an angle through the frame here. Yeah. And then push it through the frame and then bring it out up here. That would be better, wouldn't it? When you see where that caliper is, we know we've got a little bit of float adjustment on these two. Yeah. Yeah. So all we've really got to do is get that mounted where that is now, spot weld it there, and then we can cut it and trim it. Yeah, so I didn't know whether it would be better to extend them out or whether to cut those bits. Cut these and move them in. I wonder if it would be a case of welding that up. That's flat, isn't it? Yeah, we could do that. And then use other washers. Yeah. But I'd be tempted to weld that on the inside. Okay. Because that, we know then that sets, that sits on there, Rush, you see. The back of that, I'd weld them that way actually to give you a little bit more clearance. Yeah, but we can weld them on the back of there, not a problem. Okay. Open this out and weld them, and then that's that located. So that's a damn good idea. Yeah, so what we can do... Then the other thing... We I'm need to open this hole out, because that isn't big enough to take that at the minute. Yeah? Yeah. And then we'll weld them on the back there. It only wants a couple of spots on it, doesn't it? Yeah. So the other thing is, is how do you get the wheel on to it? Uh, yeah. I so suppose you're going to have to have... It should be like a, a, a U shape, shouldn't it, really? You know, yeah. We, we cut, like, oh, yeah, we can fork them. We can do that, can't we? Yeah, and then it's, it's not going to come out. It just slides on, doesn't it? So, what do you do? You, you, you're going to cut like an inch out of each bit, bring them in, and then strengthen it up. Cut an inch out of it, you're going to go in and in. If you were to grind all that off, yeah. cut an inch back on there and move them in. How much have we got to go? Let's just drill one of them out to the right size hole first. Yeah. Go on, Perfect. So two inches we want to come in. So we want to lose an inch either side. Yes. <laughs> if we lose an inch either side, we're not going to bring that in enough to touch that top there. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. Do a proper weld and grind it back flat so we can put a V weld. So once it's cut, we'll cut it at 90 degrees to the tube, yeah. and then literally take an inch. Well, it won't be an inch, it'll be a linear inch, won't it? Yeah, it'll be an inch <clears throat> that way. What's a linear inch? So if you cut an inch out of it, like that, yeah, yeah. you're not going to lose an inch. You'll go in and up at an angle at an inch, but you won't go in at an yeah. inch. You need an inch to be. There. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah so it wouldn't matter if we cut it at 90 degrees. We could cut it that way. If yeah. we cut it, if we cut it through that way, as long as we stay on this radius, we cut it vertical there. Yeah. And then vertical there an inch. Yeah. Yeah. And then that will move up, and that will be in an inch because it will be. What, what you've got to do, you've got to bring that plane yeah. into that plane. That's right. Yeah. Not that one into that one. Yeah. We're cutting it that way. So we do it that way. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Through there. Through there then both bring them up. It'll bring them up, but it won't bring them up an inch here. It'll bring them up maybe half an inch, because yeah. we're only rising 
that much. Yeah. Yeah. For two sense. cuts, this will be easy. Cool. That's what I like to hear. This will be <laughs> easy. Right, so. <clears throat> Literally just a bit of delicate cutting up to give us the slot we need to put the fork in. Yeah. Do you want to hold your mask for you? Yeah, I'll just impressed? Yeah. Looks alright, doesn't it? See, it's got a slight angle, two or three degrees leaning forward. Yeah, yeah. That will make your handlebars run straight. Imagine doing that. Yeah. Yeah. That will make it run straight even quicker. But if it was like that, if it leaned forward, your wheel would want to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so in all cars, the line of angle through their wheels always leans slightly forward. If you look at a strut, oh, right, it'll okay. lean forward towards the car. That's Camber's the wheel that way it leans in and out. Yeah. Caster is the way it leans front to back. Right, okay. And that is like self-centering of your steering wheel. So that's it, that's best to have it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise it will just want to fold under you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd never even know. No, you wouldn't. Good fun. Simple do. That's quick, that. You like that, don't you? <laughs> I do. If you ever want to come and play welding, then you want to learn how to weld. I would like. I just spent the last five hours tinkering in Dave's garage, uh, fabricating front forks for the electric scooter, and I've got to say it looks wicked. Really chuffed with it. Uh, oh, loads of bumps. Dave's a very clever man. You know, that saying all the gear and no idea. Well, Dave's got all the gear and loads of ideas. So it's always handy to uh, have somebody like that around you because obviously. I would never have been able to do that, you know, as much as I want to, I just wouldn't have been able to, one, be able to turn a welder on, and two, weld, uh, but then it's just like the little uh, tricks of the trade that Dave seems to have, um, just seems to make life so much easier when it comes to uh, making anything like this. So, loads of fun, uh, it's good to catch up with him as always, and I've got to say, the scooter looks absolutely wicked. Um, I think it's even better than my other scooter. Oh, that's it crashing around in the back. So I'm just rambling on now, so I'm just going to uh, probably leave it here. Um, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, good luck with your builds, because I'm sure if you're watching this, you're probably in the stages of building something. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe somewhere down the bottom, and I will catch you in the next one.